Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I create a colored metallic effect. These are the materials I'll be using. As an example, I'm going to be using this Primaris Marine model, and so I'm going to be prepping it for paint, uh, specifically for airbrushing. I'm using a little bit of um, poster tack, and I'm putting that on all of the areas where I don't want paint to go on, uh, like all of the joints that will eventually be glued. Now you don't need to do this if you're going to be painting it with a brush, but with an airbrush, uh, this helps to make sure that, you're gonna, that your glue areas are going to, to not have paint on them, and so you'll get a better connection. I then prime the model using a Vallejo Gray Primer. Once the model was primed, I went in with a Vallejo Airbrush Black, and I used that to shade all of the undersides of each, uh, uh, each piece of the model, and this is going to be a pre-shading for the rest of the effects. I went pretty thick with the pre-shading, because I really want it to show up once all of the other layers are on. Once that was done, I used a Vallejo Silver, and I gave the whole model a base coat of this. Uh, I made sure to go a little bit heavier in the lightest areas of the model, and to go a little bit lighter on the darkest areas, because I want to keep my pre-shading mostly intact throughout this process. Once I had the model painted silver, I went in with some Badger Ghost Tint Midnight Blue, which is a black tint. I used that to further help my pre-shading, so that the under areas were very much darker than the lighter areas. Once that was dry, I went in with a Badger Ghost Tint of Blue, and I'm, this is going to be my final color. So I went a little bit thicker with this tint in the, air, in the lightest areas of the model, and then I still went a little bit lighter on the darker areas, because I want to make sure that the shading exists, because that's what's going to help keep the scale of the model. Once I had the blue coat done, metallic effect was essentially finished, so I went ahead and I did a, a quick job of finishing the model, just so that I could show you what it looked like when it was all finished and assembled. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can leave a comment with any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us on Facebook at EOBFans, and you can follow us on Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.